Winter is a time of withdrawing from the world, maximizing scant resources, carrying out acts of brutal efficiency, and vanishing from sight. Once we stop wishing it were summer, winter can be a glorious season in which the world takes on a sparse beauty and even the pavements sparkle. It's a time for reflection and recuperation, for slow replenishment, for putting your house in order. This winter has been a particularly difficult one for me. This year, it's been a struggle to go out and do anything at all. Maybe that's a testament of how much I enjoy my new home. Maybe it's because I have Simba now. Or maybe the reason is that I'm just getting older and I don't have the energy of my 20s. Whatever the case, even though I haven't had more work to do than usual, it's been a daily struggle trying to find any motivation at all. I just want to stay inside, curl up with a book and warm drink, and wait for spring to come and thaw everything out. That is unfortunately not a realistic option, and I'm trying to find ways to embrace the coldness of winter. I've never been a fan of cold weather, and I particularly don't like the mess that snow brings. But here in Korea, there's really no escaping it until spring. The obligations of work are about the only thing that will drag me outside in the winter. That, and now Simba, of course. He seems to really enjoy the snow, so I'm making sure he gets plenty of time to play in it. The cold and the snow make everything inconvenient and uncomfortable, to say the least, but I'm taking small steps to enjoy it, since there is no way of avoiding it. There is indeed both a severity and beauty to this season, and to properly enjoy it requires a mixture of embracing and ignoring this darkness. I was surprised to find that the stream near my home froze over, enough to safely stand on even. I've never lived in a place where I could witness moving water freezing. Where I'm from, sometimes small ponds will ice over, but you never trust it enough to walk on it. It was fascinating to see and a clear visual reminder of just how cold it can get in Korea.
Even though I said I'm embracing winter, I'm still spending a lot of time inside. I'm reading, taking care of Simba, and making food I've always wanted to make, but never felt like I had the time. A particular favorite has been minestrone, or what I call minestrone. I don't know how authentic it really is, but I make it how I like it, which is the most important rule when cooking. It's usually just tomato soup and chicken broth with whatever else I can find in my fridge. And of course, as many Americans do with tomato soup, I pair it with a nice grilled cheese sandwich. It is a very indulgent meal. But I would like to think that because I make it by hand, it is a little healthier for me. It definitely warms me up both body and soul. <laughs> 